Hey, today I'm going to be cooking potato skins in the air fryer. Here are the basic requirements. Number one is an air fryer. Number two is potatoes. Number three is salt. Number four is completely optional, but sour cream, green onion, and bacon. And number five is your favorite cheese. So let's get started. So I have the golden, like, smallish potatoes. Um, I have a count of five, and I'm going to be using them to make our potato skins. Yeah, see, I'm like just washing them off, making sure that they're all clean and sanitary. I don't want any like dirt on them when I'm eating, you know? And I want them to be nice and clean. For this next step, you're gonna need some olive oil or just any type of oil that you prefer. And you're gonna wanna put some like paper towels down or just maybe a rag or something to keep anything from getting like oil and stuff on because that would be a really hard mess to clean. So now I'm just gonna put my potatoes onto the paper towel. Now I'm going to grab my olive oil and I'm just going to put it all over the potatoes. And that this will give it like a really nice, like crispy um, like texture. And it will be a really nice flavor for the potato skins when you eat it. So this is gonna just make them like really, really crispy and really like good to eat so yeah i'm just gonna rub the oil all over the potatoes now you're going to need some type of salt i'm using himalayan pink salt but you can use any type of salt that you prefer this is just for the seasoning so i'm just gonna coat um all my potatoes with salt You only want a little bit of salt because it might get like really, really salty. But if you prefer that, that's fine. But I'm only using a little tiny pinch. So I'm just going to coat it. Now that the potatoes are all coated, let's put them in the air fryer. Pop it in and close the lid. Now, if you don't know how to cook these, then what you're going to want to do is you want to turn it on. Press temp and time and put it to 400 Fahrenheit and 30 minutes. And now you turn it on. Now wait 30 minutes. As soon as your air fryer beeps, take them out. See, like they're really, really nice and crispy. Now it's on to the next step. Now you're gonna wanna poke it with the fork and so the potato inside will get cooked. Now I'm going to be showing you how you poke it. So here we go. So now we're going to be on to the next step. So now we're going to pop them back in. Now we're going to still want it at 400 Fahrenheit, but we're gonna also want like 10 minutes or five or just somewhere between five to 10 minutes. So the inside of the potato can be cooked. Now wait until it beeps. So I got them out. Transfer them into a bowl. Now you're gonna want to put them on a cutting board and you wanna cut the middle like so. I would also let them cool because when I was doing this, it burned my hands. Now, once you're done with that, you have to cut a hole. Well, not really a hole, but more of a circular shape. And then you want to transfer that into a bowl. Pour some oil into the bowl. Then put some pepper. Then some salt. Now I have some sour cream and I just pour it in there. Now you just want to mix it all in together. Once you mush it, it kind of looks like mashed potatoes. 
Now I'm putting pepper on the skins. I'm next to the air fryer, so my voice is kind of like, a, you can hear a whirring sound, but right now I'm just filling it up. Now I'm just cutting up some green onion. Now finally put the cheese on. Now put it at 400 Fahrenheit for five minutes. Currently I'm waiting for the bacon to cook in the air fryer, but after I'm gonna put all of the stuff on it, such as the sour cream, the bacon, and the green onion. Now I'm putting on the bacon.